shooting guy. Nice job. Is that it? <laughs> nice shooting guy. <coughs> I'm pretty sure you hit him on every single shot. <coughs> Get it, John? <laughs> well, this hunt is now concluded, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Eastman here. Today on uh, this week's video, we're going to talk a little bit about rifle scopes. Um, before we get started, I just want to say make sure you forward this on your Facebook or to someone that uh, one of your hunting buddies. We're trying to get over 10,000 views on this video, so if, uh, if you know anyone who would be interested in this kind of information, make sure you uh, share it or forward it on to somebody. Anyway, we're going to talk about rifle scopes today. Uh, the Zeiss HD5 in particular. Uh, I used this scope exclusively last year. I was able to kill a really nice uh, antelope, uh, elk, and deer with it, so it worked very, very well very very lethal weapon uh, when you put it on on your your rifle but I'm just going to talk a little bit today about scopes in general and also this scope in particular and how it works um, this scope is a one inch diameter uh, the conquest uh, this is a Zeiss conquest HD5 it's a 3 to 15 by 42 uh, what that means is it's a super zoom which means that the multiplier on the zoom is multiplied by five. In the old days, they only had multiplied by three. So if the lower power was three, it would go to nine power. So it'd be adjustable from three to nine. These super zooms now go to five. So if it's a, the lowest power, this goes is three, but it goes clear up to 15. So that's kind of a, a new technology that's uh, three or four years old in the industry. So this is a super zoom, three to five, or uh, three to 15 power by 42. Uh, it's a very compact scope. It's less than 14 inches long. It has a one inch tube. So that's uh, very common in, in America. Uh, the Conquest is Zeiss's kind of middle of the road line. Uh, this scope retails for under $1,000. So it's uh, pretty economical, not the most economical, but pretty economical. They do have a version or a model that's above this that'll, that'll be uh, much more expensive. And it uh, has a 30 millimeter tube, which is a little more metric. Uh, than, than what we use here in America, which is pretty standard one inch too. So that's, that's how that works. It has a Rapid Z reticle in it. Uh, they make a Rapid Z 600 and a Rapid Z 800. Uh, the Rapid Z is, in my opinion, uh, one of the most lethal uh, reticles you can put in a scope. Um, a lot of other companies have them as well, but Zeiss calls theirs the Rapid Z. How it works is inside the reticle on the scope, it has distance holdover hash marks and you can adjust your scope because the reticles in the second focal plane you can adjust your scope and maximize it so that the hash marks hit certain distances uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute um, here's the packaging it comes in very nice of course european style packaging nice bull out there uh, this this scope was developed by Zeiss for the Western trophy hunter in mind. Uh, so it's it's right in the wheelhouse of what we look for uh, out west as far as the scope is concerned. Um, you know, we talked about the one inch uh, tube, it's less than 14 inches long. It, it adjusts from, from three all the way to 15 power, but the real power inside the scope is the reticle, the Rapid Z 600. Um, basically what you do is you program, go under, when you, once you get the scope, of course you mount it onto your gun, go onto Zeiss's website, Zeiss.com, I think it's actually Zeiss uh, SportOptics.com, and there's a ballistic reticle software web-based program in there where you basically go in, tell the program, uh, the software, what scope you have, and uh, then you program in the, the stats from your rifle. Um, this, I shoot, this is a 270 short mag. Uh, right here, I shoot a Hornady 150 grain inner bond. Uh, so I, I program in what what caliber, what grain bullet. Uh, I can even program in what elevation I shoot at. I usually sight my guns in for 5280, which is a mile high, uh, 58 to 59 degrees. Um, and you program all that in, and it'll tell you what. Uh, what magnification to put your scope at to maximize those hash marks. So uh, this one, it tells me to put my scope at 14.5 power. So I don't shoot it at 15 power. I shoot it at 14.5 power, which is almost 15, but it makes every one of those hashes 
perfectly, almost perfectly in line with the distance. So the four hash is 397 yards, the five hash is 504 yards, the six hash is 609 yards. You can see they're less than 10 yards uh, optimum, less than 10 yards away from what they what they uh, say. So it makes it perfect. So now when I look through the scope and I have it at 14.5 power, the three hash is 300 yards, the four hash is, is 397 yards, which is basically 400. The five hash is 504, and the six hash is 609 yards. So that means that this scope is completely dialed in out to 600 yards. Of course, like I mentioned, they have a Rapid Z 800, which takes it out to 800 yards if you want to shoot even, even further. But for me, 600 yards is plenty. Uh, so it's very, very accurate, very, very foolproof. Uh, one thing you want to do is I take a, a little uh, silver pen and mark on my scope where that hash mark is because I have multiple guns and say on a 300 it might be 13 and a half power 14 so once I get my scope all paired down to the right ammo exactly and the gun dialed into what I want I put a little hash mark on the scope so when I'm in the field I know exactly where to put that uh, the way that works though is the center crosshair because it's in the second focal plane the center crosshair is always dead on um, so if you're in the brush or in some thicker cover and you turn your scope down to say four power the hash marks underneath the crosshair do not work anymore at four power the, the distances will be way off but the center crosshair is always right on the money so you don't have to worry about that if you're turning your scope down on a whitetail hunt or or in the brush or, or uh, up, up close shot the center crosshair is still dialed in right on the money but if you're going to shoot distance you want to make sure that that's up to 14 and a half power then all the uh, holdover reticles are exactly the right distances um, the scope is, is very lightweight very compact like I said this is built for the Western uh, hunter in mind Conquest HD5 scope has a low detect coating on it which is for water so if it gets water on there it just beads up, beads up and runs off so it doesn't fog tends not to fog your scope I'm not going to say it's non foggable so to speak but if you do get water or snow that melts on there and it will beat up and roll off the the lens it will not stick on the lens uh, so that's a, another plus to this scope if you're having it out in, in in tough weather conditions which we all know out west you can you can definitely uh, definitely have that kind of situation going on on your hunts um, the last thing is it's pretty economical. Like I said, this is Zeiss's mid-range scope. It's not their high-end. It's not their their economy uh, version. This is the mid-range, and this scope retails for less than a thousand dollars. So it's a very very powerful tool. I used it last year. Got an 87-inch antelope with it, a 180 deer, and a 360 bull elk in Montana. So it uh, it worked well on all the species, deer, elk, and antelope. Uh, it would work great for for sheep. Uh, or anything uh, you might hunt out west. So it's a, probably the best suited western scope that, that Zeiss has in their product line, uh, in my opinion. And it's a very, very well-built uh, European product for less than $1,000. This is a scope you can put on your gun and keep it there for a lifetime, pass it on to your kids. So uh, it's a great product. If you're interested in uh, needing a new scope to put on your gun, it's definitely one to check out. So make sure you go online, check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week.